Hey, what's up, guys? Just check your views, and I'm on Capping and Nothing of April. Oh, that's an old car right there. That is so old. I think it's a Morgan. Nice Porsche. Dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a Hellcat. Not a Hellcat. That's a... That... Nice charger, my man. It's a charger guiding. Okay, so I'm going to give you, give you some info of what that red car is right there. This one? Yes. This is the McLaren 720S. Oh. Well, what's cool about this car, the mid-engine V8, twin turbo V8. See if you can see the engine. Kind of hard. In there is a twin turbo 3.8 liter twin turbo V8, yeah. making them about oh, 710 horsepower. 710? Yeah. It's called 720s because over in Europe it's called it's 720. Okay. And you do it differently. But in what's cool about this car, you can tune it to make it over 900 horsepower easily. Oh yeah. Probably even more than 900 if you get a stage two plus. Two oh yeah, you can easily tune it. They're very very easily. Yeah. That's the air intake too, right? Yeah. Everything you see on this car is functional. Dude, that car is so low to the ground. Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's super great for you. Wow. you that's why they have lift systems. That's the Lotus that you... Not the, you a Lotus before. not the exact one. The one I drove was that color. But it's a cool car. Yeah? The only thing annoying about it is getting in it. Let me show you why. You can't really see it, but... I'm looking right here. That's the sill. <laughs> Try fitting your fat butt, butt, butt through that tiny hole. Yeah, you can't, you can't get in there. Really. I had a hard time getting in the one I drove. Yeah. It's the most annoying car to get in. Dude, I bet you can sell your car so easily here. Oh, yeah. He, oh, this car is cool. This is an older model Dodge Viper ACR. You can tell by the wings. Carbon fiber. It's a, it's a cool car. So this is coffee and cars, right? Cafe and not thing. Where's the caf where's the coffee? <laughs> there are, it's around. Just if you see some carrots. <laughs> yeah, really cool cars. Yeah. Nice that's a pretty color. I love that color in the lotus. Yeah, yeah that's what people like can people can can use it a lot for Ferrari just by the way it looks. Yeah. But it's a but it's um it's a British car. This is an old and the first generation Acura NSX. The car that put Ferrari back in back to bit to shame. Literally it, it told them how to make a car. Yeah, look at the interior, it's really cool. Mid-engine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can easily see them. I want to get you in the new one. I want I want you to see which one you like better. The new one or this? Aston Martin DB9. Very. It's a, it's James Bond. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, here's the here's one that's here's one that's open. This is the sill. Good luck getting in that. Wow. Now you can really see how big that sill is. Nice. That's a cool car though. Oh yeah. That's that's cool. right there. And what's cool about it, it's to start it, you have to turn in the key and press the button, which should be around here. Yeah. Here's how you start the car. You put the key in and you press that button. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's a very finicky car. It's, it has a high performance clutch, so you have to be very careful with the way you do the clutch. I'm going to take a picture of this right quick. Oh, yeah. Right it's a cool car. Oh, nice Avon! That's cool. Oh, nice. And then check that one out. Oh, 240Z! Nice! Oh, that's a nice car. Cool thing about that, you know the lights on there? One of the Lamborghini have that. There's a Lamborghini that has a, if, it, if it's here, I'll show you it. All right, I want to show you, tell you about this car. 
This is the Lamborghini Murcielago. What's cool about this car is if people know it as the Thundering V12, because how fuck, of how, just the sound of it. It's the predecessor to my dream car. Really cool, really nice looking. Oh, this thing's a manual. That that's cool. That is rare right there. It's a you don't find many of these in a manual. Yeah, it's so low to the ground, man. That's the thing. All, all, all supercars like this are below the ground. V12. What is that twin turbo? No, just right there. There, there's an Lamborghini that's twin turbo until next generation. So the next, the next Lamborghini V12 flagship is gonna be twin turbo. Dude, that's a 6.5 liter, man. Yeah. It's a big wow. engine. It's a big engine. Dang. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's fast. It's fast. Whew, man. All right. Low Yeah, Ferrari Ferrari Thruway GTS. Really cool car. This is people. Have, I have an owner that told me this is one of the coolest cars to drive. Seven twenty S again. Yeah. You find these all around here. This, this is a cool car. So this is a Lotus Evora. Cool thing about this car, this is what this has a Camry engine. Yeah. Hold on, about to take a selfie with this guy. It's a cool car. <laughs> Show you more about it. So this has a a Toyota Camry V6 engine that's been supercharged by BOE. I think it's what the thing else the name. Really cool. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Lotus puts that placard to hide it that's a Camry, but we all know it's a Camry. But it makes this thing more reliable. Oh wow. <laughs> so yeah, the old the old ones were were, were Rover engines. Yeah. And they were the most unreliable thing in the world. So so they switched. To tell you the truth. This car, it looks better in that color right there. Oh, yeah. The red. Oh, yeah. It's the Ferrari red. Though. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Trust me, the one I drove was red, and it was such a pretty car. I mean, when you, dude, just look at it, man. When you're driving it, you feel like you're driving a little race car. Yeah. And I bet it's, what is this, like a V8 engine? No, four-cylinder. Four-cylinder? Corolla. No. Yeah, Corolla engine. That quick. A Corolla and yeah, this. This is a four-liter engine. A four-cylinder. Four-cylinder. Toyota Corolla engine that's been supercharged. So my car could beat this. No, it cannot. <laughs> What's this zero to sixty? I don't know. You have to ask my my friend. It's a fast car. This is the this is the car that went one forty. Oh, supercharged. Okay, that's. This fine. is the one that went for one forty. I mean, but dude, it's only a four. So that means it's good on gas. That's the be the benefit of it. Actually, it's what's cool, what's cool about this car? It's so light. The thing you need to know about weight. Weight is a huge thing. This thing weighs two thousand pounds before adding yourself. Of course. So, so, dr so this thing having a little Corolla, uh, a 1.8 liter four cylinder, supercharged by thing, making 300 horsepower, 300 horsepower, 2,000 pounds. That's just a recipe for fast. Yeah. The thing is quick. You have to be very careful with these cars. So the power is not in the engine. It's in the the what? torque. The uh, D because it has because it's not as as light as heavy as a Corolla. This thing can take off the line like. Wow. You have to be, like I said, you need to be careful with that car. That car is ridiculously fast. Yeah. And what it is and what you can get the car can do, it's, it is, it will shatter your mind of what you, what a car is capable of. It really, it, it, it helped me understand why lightweight is so crucial for some brands. Um, at the very beginning. Yeah, Audi and BMW, I'm going to show you that. All right. This is the first generation. Let's see if this is the V8 or V10. Oh, dude, this, oh, this is nice. This is the first one that came out. Okay, the reason why it's called the R8 because they originally had a V8 from the 8 series, from the, the 7 or 8 series. What's so cool about this car is because the weight, the, because it, the, its price. Mm -hmm. Back in when it first came out, Ferrari was charging like 200, 300,000 for, for a 458 thing Lamborghini. I was like, yeah, we'll just charge a hundred thousand dollars, and people, yeah, for this, a mid-engine, reliable, well, not the most reliable thing in the world, but it's more reliable than the Lamborghini. Yeah. V8, fast. It can really, it it just, it just did so well. That's why it's so popular. Hold that. On. I'm gonna try and get a good picture. 
Yeah, this is a cool car to sit in. I've sat in like this thing like five times already. You have to be careful with this car. This is the Acura. Yeah. I actually know about this one. Yep. This is a, uh, what is it, a turbo? turbo Twin, tur Twin turbo. Turbocharged V6 hybrid. Right, right. Good on gas, surprisingly. Yeah. If you didn't know that. Oh, yeah. And zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. People don't really, people are mad about it, mainly because it took so long to come out with, and it's a hybrid. Yeah. But it's really comfortable. I'm going to get you in one. Not this one, because this is an owner's, but I'm going to get you one, and I'm going to get you in one. Don't worry. This is actually the fastest hybrid, I think. Uh, actually, there's a, there's a, I think there's a faster one. Which one? McLaren P1. Oh, I don't know too much about McLaren, so... Oh, uh, if won. one's here, I doubt it, but if one's here, I'll show you, show, show you and tell you about it. All right, come over here. There's another car I need to tell you about. Okay, this car I don't like, but I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. This is a BMW i8. Oh, I already know why you don't like it. Because it's so Let me tell it, I have some gripe with this car. Really cool. Oh, that's a, that's a cool scene position. It's, it looks... I like the way it looks, but under the hood, it's a it's a little mini engine. It is? Yeah. yeah. You told me it was too slow. That's why I didn't really like it. I love the look. That's, that's, that's what you got with R8 said until you drove it. Really? You thought it was stuck. Is this your car? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry for saying that. No, no, that's okay. No, no. Most people would think that, but it's fast as heck. Really? Hey, yeah. you, you get down, I'm going to get down to 4 seconds, 0 to 60. No. You're kidding. It's, a, it's, actually, it's actually fast. Yes. Yeah. My name is Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. I do, I do car reviews on YouTube. Like okay, it. okay. It's nice yeah, it's, it's fast. And I got a chip on the chip in it too, so it's it's quick as heck. Oh, really? Yeah, he drove, my friend with Dari, he drove me yesterday. He said, like, man, I can't believe this thing is that cool. Is it a stage two plus right now? Yeah, I put the stage one stage. Whoa. Whoa. Dude. Dude, this car's cool. Whoa. Dude. Is it manual or is it? It's an automatic. Man, dude, check this out. This thing, the way it seats. Oh my god, this is cool. Dude, surprisingly, it has a back seat in here, too. Yeah, good looking I'm back there. Yeah, you can't even fit back there. That's cool. This is actually not that hard to get into. Way easier than the Lotus. The Lotus, it's like you have to learn a certain way to get into it. Because <laughs> this, this is carbon fiber is the protection. This is protection from inside impact. Mm. Okay. This is a cool car. Yeah, it's a lot of space. Yeah, I like the I, this carbon prints light, huh? Yeah, just pull it. Let's <laughs> go. Cool. Oh. oh, that's so cool. That is cool, guys. Closing the door of a BMW i8. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Ah. It's breaking my butt. Oh, wow, yeah. All the striping is blue. You see that? Alright, Yeah. I think I'm picturing me and I, I... Okay. So get out. I'm guessing you do the opposite way. Ah. Ah. Oh, look at all the import cars, man. Oh, yeah. Not as hard as you initially think. It's, that is really cool to set at. That is really cool. Get it, dude. Get in it. Yeah, but you put them first. Yeah. It's a cool car. I like it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a, Dude, is that yours? Yes, it is. 
That is cool to sit in. The way you get it, the way it's seated, that's really, really cool. I really it's like it. It's very comfortable too. It's yeah. not too firm like most sports Yeah, cars. It, it's, it feels like you're in a cool car. I, I like exactly. that. Yep. It felt exactly like a Lamborghini. Right. Lamborghini, sits, they sit like that. Nice. I fit my butt in that. In, in that? Yeah, I fit, I fit my butt in it. It was a little... I, I did have a guy in Jacksonville, he had one of these, he, he tried to drag race me on uh, JTV. Did he win? No. I kept, I kept up. Oh, you're the... I have the four seas spider. Oh yeah, my man, how you doing? Hey, doing great. When are you gonna be free? I don't know, I'm actually going down, back down, down to Florida next weekend. And then I'll be at the uh, Cafe and Exotics at the end of the month. Alright. Let me know you can do the review, because I, I got a review. Okay. So I reviewed the lowest leaves. I want to see how what's what's. Oh yeah, it's a lot different than leaves. Dude, is yours? My man, my name is Jake. I love, I love the car. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Man, I do car reviews on YouTube. Oh really? Yeah, that's but, awesome. Yeah, I've been. I, I love BMW, especially. I've only driven one, but I loved everything about it. I, I drove an E40. E46 325i. It wasn't the M, but it was such a cool car. It's still good, man. It's still very good. Yeah, I can just tell this car was special. Just by the way it drove, it was just, it's one of my favorite cars I've ever driven. It's, yeah, that's awesome, man. Hmm. Yeah, that's a very nice car to drive. Is it tuned? No. Okay, good. I, I like driving, I, I like reviewing stock car before they tune them because I want to see what the car is like from the factory then if someone tunes i say okay does it really need that tune oh yeah 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 i see what you're saying that's smart yeah that's have a, smart. Uh, I have a guy who has an m2 but he's tuned it too much i'm like i can't feel what the car is like originally with my car perfect yeah just jake reviews awesome man i'll check that out for sure yeah because i would love to review this nice car nice meeting you man absolutely oh, yeah, well, this car is cool i do you wanna, do you live around here i live a little bit far far away that's right here. that's right yeah. but yeah that's awesome i'll check you out man i appreciate you yeah just let me know we'll do a review because i think this car is cool thank you brother i appreciate that for real if you know anyone else that has the other M's, let me know because I... Okay. Yeah, yeah. My goal is for every car known a man see, just to see which one, to see what they're like. Yeah. They're all different, man, compared to like, they all might look the same from outside, but they're all different. Oh, wow. On the owner. Yeah, oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, for her. Ah. 430. Please. Excuse me. Can you close the door? Is this yours? Yeah. I, was, I thought it was the dealership showing it. No, no. Thank you. Sorry about that. My name is Jake. A beautiful car. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll, I'm a huge Mercedes fan. They're just they're just a great car. I got to ride him. The old one. And it just amazed me what that car can do. Yeah. This one, this one's fully uh, Rentec tuned, so it's running about 900 horsepower. Oh wow! Yeah. It'll actually lift the front wheels of the car. Oh wow! Yeah. With, does it still have the the, the locking differential, the different button? Yeah. It's, I, it's, I, full, I, it's still fully off-road capable, but the, but this one we use more for. This I just, one's more off-road. I love the way because we, he took us on a straight like 90 degree incline, and I I didn't I didn't I knew we could log, but he only pressed the button, the car just stopped. Dead stop. Man on the anticline, I'm like, how is this car doing this? Yeah, it's an amazing vehicle, huh? absolutely amazing vehicle. My name is Car Reviews on YouTube. Okay, cool, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. we we'll love to review your cars, just let me know. Okay. Anyone, appreciate it, man. I'll well, take it easy, good to meet you. I do it in a big parking lot, so. This okay. Is, this is a dealership car, so you can get in it. Yeah. So, no. Hey, are you guys the owner of this? Uh, so, yeah. Oh. No, take pictures, yeah. Is this yours? What's, what's up? Is this yours? Yeah. My name is Jay. Hi. This is one of my favorite cars I've ever seen. But the first time I saw I got to sit in it and start the thing, it is so loud. Yeah, it's a really cool car. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, my girl, my name is Jay. Okay, cool. 
love it. Dude, do you car reviews on YouTube? I love, I would love to review it because this is, it's just one of my favorite cars. Okay. Ever since I sat in it, it's been like my go car. When I get the money, I want to buy one. Just, it's just such a cool car. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll uh, have you email it. Perfect. <laughs> Email me, Instagram, email me, we'll, we'll set it up. Right, thank you so much. Just don't lose it. I have lots of really cool owners who lose the car, and I'm like, seriously? No, I usually take pictures of them. All right, on my sweet. Phone. sweet. I do car reviews Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the weekend. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm in the new Q8, finally. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is taking me a second. Whoa. That interior is cool. This thing is ridiculous. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's a cool interior. Dude. Two touch screens. Yeah, I'll see if I can. Nah, like, they won't let you start it. I just want to look at the infotainment. Come on, let me, let me, let me do my stuff. Let me. Okay, I don't know He's doing propels? Seriously, flimsy power shifters? You call these power shifters? Full plastic? Seriously, an Audi. Flimsy power shifters. No. No, that's not how you do. I like this. Fake leather. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, the grain. The grain. You can feel the grain. Look at this. Oh my, oh my, the, oh, let's throw the interior, whoa, this is nice, so they have a mixture of plastic pieces and nice pieces, Audi, what the heck is wrong with you, oh, nice, oh, I like this trim, I like this, I like this a lot, let's see how much space you get, you get decent amount of space, that is, that is heavy, seriously, I don't get anything under there, the nice UV, I need my space, Stuff in the back. This is a little weird, but you know. All right, that's it. That's it for this car. Make it rear wheel drive, but other than that, like 100% like in the back. 100% yeah. in the back. So it's a, like a drift mount. This is sick as shit. I love it. This is such it's a unlocked cool. if you want to sit in it. Really? Yeah. This is such a cool car. Now this is the V8. Uh, twin turbo V8. Nice. <laughs> Now, I know before they had a V10 in it, and that, was that because of the reliability issues? Did they switch to a V8? Uh, no. Actually, they realized that you could get more power out of a twin turbo V8 than you could out of an NA V10. Oh, nice. Also saves you a little bit of space nice and weight. Oh, nice. I heard these are more reliable now than the uh, 05 MM5s. Yeah, no, it's, it's significantly more reliable than a... It's way more reliable than any of the other M5s that have been designed. That's good. 112 on this one. Oh, nice. What does it start at? The base is 110. Oh, nice. Yeah, by all means. Man, I love M5. They're such a cool car. Well, like about you give where it's a it's a sedan that you can go drive around town, but it's ridiculous. But it's ridiculously fast. That's what I love about M5s. <laughs> well, German in general, it's hard to find a sedan that's really fast that you, that you can use every day. Not in BMW. <laughs> that was my entry pass. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, uh... These are nice. And, oh, I like this red badging. Look at this. I like this. It's a, it's a nice one. I like the red styling they have. This mm -hmm. little red thing. So I got in that SUV. It was nice, but it was a little weird. The X7 is that's the actually brand new. Uh, BMW just got it unveiled, 
So this is the first time that we've actually showcased it at an event. Um, essentially, styling-wise, it's meant to be the same size as the Ford Expedition. Oh, nice. Um, because the Ford Expedition did a new size update. So we decided to do the same and unveil the X7, which is going to be the next size up from the X5. Oh, nice. Feature-wise, it's got a lot of the same features that you would expect out of the BMW. So, you know, heated and cooled seats, heated and cooled cup holders, oh, yeah. um, cameras all the way around, Bluetooth, premium stereo, surround sound. It's meant to be just a luxury family car. Yeah. But a lot of people that want to buy a luxury family car for some reason also don't like sedans or coupes. So we decided to unveil a, essentially a 7 Series SUV. Oh, nice. So is it the 7 Series being the high line of our, you know, everything huh. that we produce and everything that we manufacture, we decided to make the same thing into an SUV. Oh, nice. So, uh, is there a 6 there, six X6 or just X, this X5 then jumps X7? Uh, there is an X6. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a cool car. I like the M modes. It's a, it's a fun one. Oh, I like... So, you can, con you can control the individual M modes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like the red, the little red styling they have. The, the X7 had that as well, but I like how it's they add a little red... I think that's nice. Now, are these the performance seats or are these the comfort seats? These are the performance. Oh, nice. For performance, they're comfortable. Yeah, from, from how they hold you, it's... I get in some cars that have performance seats and they're uncomfortable. They're like too bolstery or too... Well, I mean, it's they hold you very tightly. Yeah. Um, they're supposed to. You're not supposed to go anywhere. But the... To me, the wish they were just a little extra comfortable. This, these are finally comfortable and they hold you good. That's what I like because I'm not going to be flooring at 99% of the time. I'll drill it quite often, but... Not every BMW owner can say that. Yeah. <laughs> Fiddling with this uh, infotainment screen. It's cool. Okay, so watch this. I've set it up to where I can do this. Four drive. See the screen change? Watch, watch, watch. Come on. There we go. Much sportier, everything else. This is a four wheel drive, all kinds of crazy crap. This is cool. This is a cool car. Yeah. That V8? V6. Oh, man. I remember this back in the oh, like, oh, what is this, your 04? 05, yeah. Uh, is this, 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 this is a cool car. Uh, I was at Landmark Speedway last weekend. I saw a Jimmy Johnson's old, yeah, Jimmy Johnson's 48 Monte Carlo SS. It was so cool. It had like, it had like tires popping and everything, but it was so cool to see the car. Yeah, this has 54,000 miles on it. My bad. It's okay. This has 54,000 miles on it. Dude! Dude, where'd you get this car? Uh, I got it in North Carolina whenever I had 32,000 miles on it. Dude, that, this thing is cool. I got it about year and a half ago oh dude i, I mean i just love long car world. not many of them are out there yeah, I, I do car reviews on need you i will this is the one car i've been dying to review just because it's such a cool car really yeah I, i'm just a huge fan of modern car world. thank you it's the one chevy i want to add to my collection that sucks too. oh my yeah and it's not i mean I'll, I'll rev it again if you want to get oh yeah i got it all on here I mean, if you wanted to get a uh, back shot. All right. Yeah, I six so I'm making this much fun power. It sounds so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds like grumble. Power, baby. <laughs> what did you add to it? What kind of exhaust? Uh, Super? It's Floor, Ma Floor Master 40 Series. Okay. With a uh, has the catalytic converter delete, uh, and I mean it's just a stock 3800 series. Okay. Uh, V6, but it has a instead of an 86 millimeter pulley, it has a 78. It had a like 15 horsepower, but it still sounds. Dude, this car is
This yours? Yes. Let's nice meet you. My name's Jake. I'm Brandon. Love the car. Thank you. Can I, can I touch your dart? Yeah, go ahead, man. Oh, that's cool. I like what you've done with it. That is cool. Is this the uh, RT or whatever it's called? Uh, it's just a, it's a rally. Oh, nice. Yeah. I do car reviews on YouTube. Oh, wow. Love to review it. Not many people like the door, but I like the way it looks. Thank you. I have to, I have to set something up with you. Because this thing is cool. Thank you. My, people may not like it, but I've always been, I always have a soft spot for the dart. It, it, it grew on me, put it that way. I wasn't a big fan when they first came back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, it, I'm a huge Dodge fan. Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, the shaker. Does this have the big 6.4? Yes. Nice. My name is Jake. I do. I reviewed a three, the five seven not too long ago. We'd love to see what the 6.4 is like. Okay. This is the shaker too. I, I, I love the shaker. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Is it is it a manual? No, automatic. Here's the manual, right? Yeah, six speed. Hello, manual. There, well, I love about the challenge. It feels like an 80s monster car. Not many cars feel That's like that. That's what we were, we were talking about. <laughs> That's, that's the whole reason I bought it because I wanted I wanted to feel like something I was getting old school. All right. Not many people do that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed part one of the crafting and acting of a. Of April, I really had a lot of fun. Stay tuned for part two. I was gonna make it one video like it did last time, but I had a way more footage last time. I didn't than last time. I didn't even realize it. The problem was having last time was I my camera died. It was really low on battery, so that's why the video was short. This time I brought two. I brought an extra body, a rechargeable thing, and um power brand. I'm kind of crazy. That way I can give them get make sure I capture everything for you guys because you guys deserve it. I mean, I love I love doing this. And don't worry, I'm going to be doing reviews. I just been really busy with car shows lately. <laughs> this I told I should have should told you guys early last month with old March Madness. I was gonna call that, but I just forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I just been really busy. But I'm going. I am doing car reviews. Don't worry, more reviews are coming. A very the special one that's still a secret. I can't tell you guys because it's it, it, I have to keep it a secret. I'm sorry. So it's gonna go up next week. Oh, next. It's happening. On, I'm filming it Friday, so it'll be go up uh, Saturday or Sunday. But I am going to be doing a review this week. Don't worry, I'm going to be holding one this week. Cause I know you can. It's been a while since you had one. I want to make sure you guys get one. But besides that, stay tuned for part two. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. Cause I'm and and click the notification bell. If you don't know what that looks like, it's right next to the big red button that says subscribe. Is there a little bell next to it? It'll kind of notify you. Hey, press the notification bell. For notifications that way you get all the updates and immediately when I do a review or a video or anything that way you can instantly watch it and it helps me out and it helps you out so be sure to do that and I guess that's it see you later